Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the farm. I know this doesn't look very vintage right now, uh, but if you'll bear with me, we're going to do something that's going to change the entire scope of this save. Uh, I had mentioned in the last, the last uh, episode that we were getting this kind of unnecessary, I guess you would say. It, it was accidental $40,000 every day slash month. Oh my goodness, that's still not enough. Um, so my thought was maybe I will uh, go ahead and build a building here. How do I increase the intensity? I forget. There's a button for that. Um, no, no. There we go. So what I'm going to try to do here is dig out an area to put that warehouse in. Look at our money. Oh, my goodness. And then we're going to keep the field. And this warehouse will be, you know, essentially like our, our commercial client. Um, so now we need to go back to the easy development controls. And let's go ahead and add another bit of money here. I know some people are, you know, maybe don't like manipulating the game like that, but because I don't want to subtract 40,000 every day, and I feel like I have just a little bit more land than is realistic for me. Um, wow, what? Why does it say not enough money? I wish it would tell you how much it costs so you can get enough money, but all right, it looks like uh, this is pretty close to being big enough. Okay. So yeah, this isn't ideal. Here, let's just add, what is that, another million? That should be enough. Um, but this way it'll be done and it will cut off part of this field and we'll do some landscaping around it. You know, obviously we're not going to be like having crops right here. So I'll do some landscaping around it if I can ever get this. There we go. That's what we need. Um, so I want to put this so that, it, you know, the trucks can come right off of the road right up to it. Just like that. Uh, interesting. I didn't realize it was gonna, well, we'll just go ahead and do this. So, <laughs> um, not exactly what I had in mind there. Land is not owned by me, so I can't even fix it. Perfect. Why did you let me do that? Anyways. So... Is that raising this? Oh, perfect. Let's just raise that, you know what, slope. Um, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Anyways, uh, what I want to get done here is is uh, get a little, you know, a road that, what? This land is not owned by me? Okay, well, I guess we're just going to have to imagine this is... what we had in mind and then I was thinking maybe we do like 
grass sort of along here. And then the field, I don't want it to be super close. Maybe we'll go ahead and put a little bit more grass. I was thinking some sort of fencing along here, perhaps. I was thinking a fence along here and here, and then some trees. But do I want this all to be our field? I feel like that's fine. I can... I can adjust that with the plow. So we have some decorative fences. I was looking for something kind of like this that we could do. Terrain too steep. Okay, how about can you do to here? And then to here. If I keep it up higher, it's fine. That looks so bad. Um, I don't want to spend... I mean, I don't care about the money because we can always... We can always add more money in if needed. Gosh. So I know we're not doing a lot of farming in this episode, at least not yet, but I do want to get. Really? It doesn't. That's not enough? Like, I don't understand. That looks awful. Demolish. The idea was that. I wanted to, you know, have it look like a fence there. Maybe I can just do this way. Too steep. Hmm. Well, how about this one? It likes that one? Okay. Then, we'll go with that. The little hedge. Can I do this like all at once? Alright, we'll match up. Right there. It looks awful. Now we need some trees. I want like. ones that look like they're planted. You know what I mean? Like too many trees. So I literally can't place trees. All right. Well, anyways, so now I need to straighten our money out. We'll remove 900,000. Yeah, we were at 80-some when I started that. So. Why did you quit? I had a worker on this. Maybe one of the 12 dozen times I came in and out of the game dealing with trying to get that squared away. Anyways, now when we get 40 grand a day, we can say it's the warehouse. Okay, that's what that was all about. Probably should have been more clear in that earlier, but now we know. And this guy is going to take a little while still. The grass field is coming along quite nicely. Hopefully that will be good to go. And if you were here in the last episode, you saw I cut this, hoping that I'd be able to get a little bit of animal feed. And of course I can't, so... One thing I was hoping to do is take a look at, I may take out a loan because I'm contemplating 
getting another tractor. So, I'm contemplating maybe this 4755, which I think would give us a good bit of, you know, it's 190 horsepower. It's just a chunky looking boy, right? And um, I think that something like this could be really helpful to be able to do more tillage work around the farm. So we'll consider that. And then I had also thought about maybe getting another little tractor, like another, even something like even old, old school, like an old... John Deere B, something along those lines. And I had a really nice suggestion in the last video to get um, the Mac R, I believe it is, like the old school Mac for when we get a semi truck. So that, those are definitely things that I'm keeping in mind as we move forward. But since we only have this one chisel plow right now, I wanted to get something so that we can start doing work in the upper field. Um, I'm not quite sure if we want to maybe direct drill that with something. I know this is a lot of uh, planning and not a lot of farming, so I apologize, but we could do either wheat or barley up there if we wanted to try to plant it this month. But I think I probably will go with something in March. So we don't need to do it right now. So the former sorghum field and then the back field will be some of this kind of stuff. But that also means that we're kind of at the mercy of these workers. It's 1120 in the afternoon. So, I don't know if it will let us put fertilizer on this grass field, but I'll try that with the gator. I don't know how much longer this guy is going to take with that chisel plow, but I think it's a, there's a pretty strong argument, argument that can be made to... Um, did I do this already? I don't think I did. I think a pretty good argument can be made to get another tractor and chisel plow combo for the farm. Okay, let's see how that did. Now we're at 28% fertilized? And this is at 4? Oh my. Okay, well... There's a job for us to do. I know with it being a grass field that we don't need need to do this. Um, but even if we just make some of it more productive than other parts, that, that would be helpful. And it gives us an opportunity to run the old run the old gator here. Whoa. did a little screener there. I was trying to do it while it was still moving and it didn't seem to like that at all. So up there where we put the warehouse in, I'm scared to drive up there because the how stupid that wall is going to look for my terrible placement. That is, I don't know how you guys are at that kind of stuff on this game, but I am absolutely abysmal at it. And I don't really know how to improve, you know? It just seems like it's a challenging, challenging job. Got deer in there. One time, uh, I want to, like, mash together and playing this game with playing Hunter Call of the Wild and shoot, shoot some deer. <laughs> Be like, today we're going hunting on the farm. I think that'd be hilarious and fun.
Yeah, I'm definitely not going to do the whole field like this. Uh, we'll just improve the yield for part of it. It's interesting that it's only going up from like 4% to 20% on fertilized amount. Like, I don't quite understand why that's happening. Because we're not running precision farming, so it's not like it would be like adjusting for the pH or something. Just feels strange to me. I think we'll do this a little bit and then maybe run up there and see how bad the warehouse looks. Now remember that's not a warehouse we're going to be using functionally for our farm. It's just a warehouse that is to justify our gaining 40 grand a day. So like you look at our bunny right now, we're sitting on 80,000. By the end of these jobs that we're getting done here, we'll probably be 70-ish. So overnight, we'll wake up and tomorrow we'll have 130,000 know, 100 and not quite that much, but 110,000. So having the warehouse, we could just basically say like, we have a commercial client who pays us money to use that land. Um, and I may still cut off some of the field for us when I when I do tillage work up there, but because we only have the one chisel plow right now, it doesn't, we can't do that job. But I'll work on it and uh, I'll get to it. It's a fun little operation though, you know. That's the wrong button. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just doing a quick screenshot so that I have it. I don't think I've done any screenshots of the gator. So I want to, you know, as I use equipment, I want to make sure that we're getting it into the screenshots. I don't know how vintage gators are. I mean, I've definitely seen really old ones. But I don't know if people would consider it a vintage operation or not. I got to use one on a farm that I did some seasonal work on, and uh, they're convenient. They're just like beefy, beefed up golf carts, really. But they can haul a fair bit of stuff, and they're really practical when you don't when you don't quite need a truck and a tractor's too slow. A gator can get you a lot of places on the farm. Pretty, uh, pretty cool invention. If anybody has any good gator stories, let me know. I, I don't have any like specific stories, but one of the things we did on that farm with the gator was, uh, we would, they had there was a bunch of corn on the farm, so birds especially, but also, you know, deer, whatever wildlife, would get at the corn and ruin it. So they had these cannons, they were like propane maybe? I think they were propane cannons that would just go boom every periodically, you know? So the birds would be hanging out in the field and the cannon would just go off on this timed interval and just boom, And that would make the birds fly away and the, and the deer also. It was pretty cool, but we would take the gator out to go and either change out those tanks or just check on them and make sure everything was fine. Check out the, the lay of the land, the farm. And I've never gone hunting with a gator, but I feel like that would be another good use for it. All right, once we get to the end of the row here, I'm gonna drive up the road here and see, oh my goodness, you can see the, <laughs> you can see it from here, how bad it looks. That's such a shame. If I was any good with those, 
with those tools I would fix it but I just can't get it I can't even get it to do anything simple like my my hope was that we'd be able to put a warehouse up first of all I didn't realize the hill was this big but second of all I was hoping we could put a warehouse up here and then eventually when we get a semi you know whether it's for like role play purposes or because we do an actual in-game contract or something I was thinking that'd be cool to make it a part of it like park our truck up here go hop in it and run a contract could be something to do so to break up the monotony of the same old same old agricultural calendar but no dice and we can't plant trees <laughs> ridiculous perfect just the way we wanted it yeah so they've got the this is such a cool mod uh, like I said I'm not gonna use it functionally but you can okay you can't do that I thought okay I can go in this way uh, they've got these loading and unloading docks tons of storage I feel like this would be a really good mod for for an actual Roleplay playthrough where you make lots of products with the with the productions that are in FS22. Gosh, I should fix that too. It looks awful. See, look how cool that that wall would have been if I if it wasn't janky. Do that wall all the way down to the end. Put trees behind it to separate the warehouse from the from the field. I think that would have been really neat. But the best laid plans of mice and men often smack the wall, often go awry. All right, so I need to actually plant grass in here too, not just texture the ground green. But looking at the size of this field now, do you see what I mean? Like, I was thinking, like, keep it, sh you know, almost, like, straight down to those trees. And then we would have this decent-sized field, but not overwhelming-sized field. But maybe this little bit of extra going this way isn't too bad. I feel like we just need slightly bigger implements. I do have a planter that I'm going to buy that maybe will allow us to, to direct drill, but I definitely feel like a good like wider cultivator that's almost like twice as wide as our chisel plow. So if we have a field that doesn't need to be plowed, it just needs to be turned over, we could do that. We also need to sort out how we're going to get lime on the farm. I like this little road we put in. This is fun. Straight down through here. We're going to spend a lot of time taking this road, I think. It feels like we're kind of stuck because we have to wait for this to get to. Like, I almost want to take out a loan, buy another tractor and, and another chisel plow and work from this side towards that way because um, the this guy's almost done with the grass field so we can get a second chisel plow and then tomorrow we'd be able to pay it off pay off the loan it seems a little indulgent to do that but we have a lot of tillage around here, so it's not really a waste of money. Also, I wonder if that thing can do lime, because we're going to need to put in a lime, a lime tank, maybe like here. Let's see. It should be in our placeables. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong menu, shift P. In our placeables, we should have, so this is silo for bulk.
silo for seeds for lime. Ten thousand dollars. We don't have a lime spreader yet, but so we probably need to go here and buy thirty five thousand liters and then can we use our existing trailer for lime? We can haul lime in it, but it doesn't have a spreader, okay? So we need to purchase fertilizer spreader what okay that's pretty cool how much will it hold it'll hold a thousand liters that's too small for these jobs right I kind of want to try it though to be honest what's it gonna set us back 2500 you know what let's do it just for kicks Who knew this was going to end up being like the Gator episode, right? But I want to see how far a thousand liters will go in this job. Oops. I'm backwards here. <laughs> My brain backwards. Nope, not that. That would be just like me, though, to fill that up and be like, why won't it spread? Okay, so once I get under here, I should be able to... There it is. Just hit R. Wow. Very cool. That's actually super cool. And do I need to hit anything to extend it? Doesn't look like it. I just... Oh my gosh! That is pretty nice. The usage rate doesn't seem any different than a typical spreader. We're going 12 miles an hour, which is pretty good. This is, this is very nice. And I will probably be able to hire a worker if I want to. I mean, I'm going to do it this myself this time, but for the future, we could do that. That's, that's pretty neat. The only sad thing is that there's probably only about 2% of the viewers that are still watching to see this awesome piece of equipment. I need to figure out how to pace my videos so that people want to stick around. Because I think we do cool stuff the whole episode. And we're finally getting to a click-through rate that is pretty nice. But if we could improve the watch time, that would be... oh very cool as well. Here we go. So we're not going to make it all the way down, but this is this is pretty sweet. <laughs> An unexpected unexpected development in the episode. I genuinely was going to just buy one of those big Bradle. I think it's the brand Bradle spreaders and uh, here we go this is works a treat and now I want to look and see if I can do solid fertilizer with this too because that would be pretty nice we could spray with the earth we could spray 
herbicide with the tank and we could use this for fertilizer. It's wider, it would be fast. It's gonna, we're gonna have to rebrand this as the Gator Farm. Alrighty, well, I hope people enjoyed watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing the warehouse get built and a little bit more stuff that advanced here. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Blue Belly, and I play simulation games, including Farming Simulator. Bye for now.